Thank you, Jason. So Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. Well, this is sort of one of these uh, flip chart days. And so what I want to do is I want to walk you through the flip chart uh, world that represents Texas. But I want to sort of set this in the context of where we are in the United States. My kids, my boys went to public schools. I'm a fan of public schools. But this chart is, I think, really significant. Medicaid, which I would call Big Red, Medicaid was, in 01, about 14% of all general revenue. General revenue is what you spend. It's not the federal money that's coming back. That's on top of that. So when you pay gas tax, when you pay something else, it was 14%. The blue was public ed, K through 12 spending. And that was, at the time, about 44.9%, 45. The two added up together to be 58.9%. This was everything else. This was highways, criminal justice, you name it, it's everything else. Well, now here we are in 2011. Big Red has expanded. Big Red, Medicaid is now 20.2%. Public Ed has, of course, shrunk. It's down about 41.3%. The two combined are now 61.5%. What we are expecting is Big Red Medicaid is going to expand to 37.2% of all state dollars. And public ed is going to keep shrinking down to 374 And the combined total is about 75% of all spending. 75% of all spending 11 years from now is going to be Medicaid and public ed. This is kind of a big deal to think about. So take a look at this next chart, which I think is a pretty good visual. Here we were in 2000 with about 1.878 million Texans on Medicaid. We always have a slight uptick when the economy doesn't do so well. So you have go back in 03, a little uptick, then it kind of flattened out again, and then it goes back up here in the eight period, and right now we're at about 3.5 million they are expecting what I would call the reverse ski jump. You're going to have this huge uptick to about 6.2 million Texans in 2014. And that kind of explains part of the reason why we're going to see this really strong pressure squeezing at public ed, higher ed, transportation, because the Medicaid thing is coming from Washington and it's just huge. But here is what's happening though, and for reasons that I really cannot fully explain. You have enrollment over 10 years is about 20.9%. Let's round it up and call it 21%. But you have total expenditures is up 76%. Some of that is inflation, but it's still beating inflation. So one of the things I put this next to this chart is to say Big Red is coming. You're going to be squeezed by Medicaid requirements, and my point is, is that it's time for us to get really, really innovative, creative, collaborative on how we handle public ed so we don't end up squeezing the kids in the classroom. Everything is about the kids in the classroom, and so if we can do something a little bit smarter, a little bit niftier, that's great. Debt service is something that I, I'm spending a lot of attention on debt service right now is uh, the fastest growing category of public spending. It's up 152% in the last 10 years. So we're borrowing a lot. In some cases, you really have to. You've got a very, very old building. You may have asbestos. You've got to go build something new. And it's expensive to build a building. But these are things that you've got to start taking a look at because all of these squeeze the same taxpayer. That gentleman asked about paying county taxes, city taxes, where well, you're going to pay school district tax, you may pay water district taxes, you may pay hospital district taxes. All of these taxing entities are on John and Mary Q Public. It's the same limited number of people. It's the same 26 million people in the state of Texas. We can't all of a sudden turn into 40 million. Last is, this is something that I want us at least to think about, is Texas is number two in the United States of the 10 most popular states, we're next only to New York in the amount of local debt on folks. 
We're at $7,983. This is an 09 number. Uh, let's call it $8,000 per person, and New York was $8,700. I guess the thing that I would really like, the one thing that I would want like, is for every single financial obligation we ask a taxpayer to assume at whatever level is you know everything about it. You gotta know what's hitting your wallet. And that covers cities and counties and school districts and MUDs and crime control districts, whatever it is, you need to know every place that you're being hit. Because I've got three sons, they're grown, I'm worried about them, and I'm concerned that with this coming, will they have the ability to pay that I have? I don't know. And so I want to know. I want to know.